Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be playing on the Stoneblock 2 server, subserver, and I have everybody here. Everybody say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. And hi. there's the hello. jumble hello. of mess. Hello. <laughs> hi. But anyways, we just opened the server today, and uh, so I had already migrated my world over, but everybody's already on here having a good time, and we're going to go ahead and split up and uh, get this server started. So, I hope to see you guys there. So, starting right off, I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about this, because I get a lot of questions about this, and is how do I basically join the server? Um, honestly, this server here is a Patreon perk, and also a Twitch subscriber perk. So if you're a subscriber on Twitch, whether it be tw Twitch Prime or through any other method, um, it gets you on the server. It's just a little bonus that we have. And uh, some things I like to do is also play on these servers with the community. So that's exactly what we're doing here on Stoneblock 2. So I hope you guys stick around for that. And like I said, if you need any of that information, uh, it's all linked down in the description below. But I just want to kind of get that out of the way. Plus, I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of the spawn here. So we did spend a lot of time working on this. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Down here, we have, bam, a nether. Even though there's no nether in this pack, which is kind of hilarious. But when you look down, you see that. But in this main room is all Thomcraft themed. So we went ahead and did some Thomcraft stuff. And then up here, oh yeah, that's the infinite in-game boss that we kind of rigged up to kind of look like the end, even though there technically is no end like this. Um, but we just kind of wanted to go with this kind of theme to kind of look really cool. And, uh, of course, they're at the end game. There is a chicken that kind of shoots a laser, and that's what those green lines are for, to represent that laser that it shoots out. But yeah, some really cool stuff that we've been doing. So, let's get into the gameplay. So, we've been going pretty slow <laughs> the past couple episodes. So, I think it's time to kind of start speed things up a little bit. So, I did a little bit of mining off camera. It really didn't take too long. I just took my iron hammer, made a couple more, and bam, we have all of these materials. Uh, it's looking pretty good, and uh, that was all just from a mining, uh, the mining dimension. Super nice. We don't have to worry about too much when it comes to the sieving, and actually, we can we can straight up just make um, some of the other stuff right away. So, like, if we want to take some of this iron, we want to cook it up. We can throw it in there. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of coal. Throw that in there. Of course, we got a bunch of coal from for mining. We got some diamond as well. Like, we can already make a diamond mesh from this. So that's what we're probably going to end up doing. We're going to work through the mesh to get to the diamond mesh. The mesh is going to make it a little bit easier for us. We can put that in a compressed mesh. Um, and that's going to be how we get some things. Now, I did go ahead and actually kill a few mobs. And in doing that, I ended up getting these basically what replace loot bags. They're loot chests. And when you open them, you get a little reward screen like this. And it tells you the items that you got. And bam, as you can see, these are the items that we're getting. So that was two comments. This one was a dud. That one was a dud as well. That's weird. Oh, no. It just took a little bit. Okay, there it goes. So we're getting slime boots from that. And this one gives us a pair of gold boots. Nice. Oh, we got uh, polar bear bait. It, it, by the way, when you open up these, it tells you the, the reward that you got. But the builder scepter is awesome. This thing is really cool. You can actually put things in here. I can build from like really far away. If you hold shift, the bottom left hand corner tells you the block that you're gonna rotate. This is its internal inventory. So if I place cobblestone in here, I don't know why that's purple, but I think that's the selector. Um, and if you rotate this and go to single block, I can place a block all the way over there. Like that's how far this thing can place blocks. It's kind of cool. So if you get that as a reward, um, there's what it does. Slime boots are going to be phenomenal because now we won't take fall damage when we accidentally drop down our chute there from the mining dimension. Pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's actually really good. Um, another thing, whenever you get these mob drops here, you can go ahead and actually combine them together and that'll add the durability up and uh, that's very handy later on down the road. So Let's go ahead and let's store some of this loot. This is still like my loot chest here. We did get some bait. I don't know what we'd ever use polar bear bait for, but chicken bait we'll definitely use. And you can also make chicken bait yourself with some seeds. All right, so let's throw this in here. I mean, we can probably cook the chicken. Yeah, we can do that later. Uh, let's place it in this chest with food and everything else. All right, we're getting somewhere. What I kind of wanted to get done is potentially a smeltery early game, 
starting off, our base is not going to look that great, but we'll definitely take over soon, and our base will look really good very soon. All right, what else are we missing? Oh, interpearls. I was wondering why there's an interpearl in here, and there's an interpearl over here. They all need to be in one central chest. I did sort my chests a little bit. I have been growing trees, so that's another thing that I've been doing. All right, so let's take a look. We, we need some sort of power gin to get started because I want to start duplicating my, or doubling up on my ore as soon as possible so we can save time and resources. Um, so what we can do is generator. There's several options for generators. We have survival generator, but I think a uh, furnace generator would probably be pretty good for us early on. It does require a little bit of redstone and iron and stuff like that. But this thing is going to be very sufficient. It's going to be it's going to produce just enough power for us for several uh, several of our, our uh, things. And plus, we can upgrade it down the road. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy made, at least for right now. And then I'm going to talk about some other power gen that I want to work on. At least once we get the the doubling. So let's go ahead and get this. So we're one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine iron ingots. We need a little bit of a redstone. We're also going to probably need some stone, which I don't know if I have. I should probably get stone smelted up. There we go. We'll get that working on for right now. And uh, let's go ahead and get this thing work done. So what else do we need? A chest. I think I have a chest just laying around, to be honest. So one of my chests. There it is. Bam. Let's go ahead and get the furnace generator made. We also need a little bit of cobblestone to make a furnace. And we should be able to make a furnace generator. Bam, super quick. All right, this is going to eat some coal or tiny coal, depending on whatever you want. And then it's gonna have an internal storage on the buffer. Now we need some kind of grinder or pulverizer or whatever you wanna call it. Pulverizer would be really nice, but it's going to require copper, gold, redstone, um, a little bit of that, flint, also tin. It's going to require a lot of stuff that we don't really have. We also have a crusher that we could use from extra utilities. We already have a machine block, so we might as well go with the crusher. Um, it's going to require pistons, so a little bit of wood, which we definitely have. Some cobblestone. Go ahead and get that. We have everything on us, I think. So a regular crusher. I normally don't actually make the crusher, so it'll be kind of interesting to, to see this. So two of those, a little bit of redstone, and bam, we have ourselves a crusher from Extra Utilities. We can place that next to it. That's going to get a charge. And we can throw our iron in there now, and that's going to crush it up, and it's going to give us our resources. Pretty nice. Now, it's not as nice and configurable as others, but this is going to technically hop down. Um, what we can go ahead and do is I can do this. So what we can do is have our crusher placed here and have a furnace down below. So right here, do our power gen here for right now. We can have a hopper up there that's going to put the ore inside. It's going to hopper down, which we can we should be able to easily make some hoppers or pipes. I think the best pipe for us at this moment would be nodes, transfer nodes, which are require a little bit of stone, a little bit of glass, and some redstone. Let's go ahead and make some slabs. What we can do is make some item transfer. We just need to make the pipes first. Item transfers can require some chests. And bam, we have pretty much item transport right off the bat. Now, another thing you can make is a hammer and a crescent hammer. The crescent hammer is going to be very nice for us later on. I think what we can do is grab one piece of tin just to make that right there. And we'll that'll allow us to kind of uh, route our pipes here. All right, so let's get a chest. I guess I should probably just make another one. Chest there. 
We can put that right here for right now. I'm gonna route the items in from the there, from that chest. Then we're gonna have a furnace over here. I need to make another furnace. We'll use the default for right now. That'll be just fine. Basically what I'm gonna do is just pike the items down. Pipe the items from the bottom of this. And that's just gonna run right into our furnace there. And all we gotta do is fill that with some fuel, um, which we can use a hopper, or we can use a regular chest, it doesn't really matter. Probably be easier just to use our pipes right now in a chest. Let's use a chest. Place that bad boy right here, and this is where that hammer is gonna come in handy. Let's go ahead and take that. We'll make the crescent hammer. Look at this. Bam, and then disconnect, like so. And we're ready to go. We're ready to go, literally. So what we can do is turn all this into tiny coal. This will keep that furnace ready to go. And as you can see, the pulverized iron is now going in there. Um, now, to get that back out and into a chest, this may seem like, you know, a lot, but it will definitely help you later on. So I'm gonna put a transfer node on the bottom. We'll make another chest. There we go. And this chest is where our items are going to end up. Just like that. And we take some stone to fill it back up. Look there. And this chest right here is where our output's gonna be. So this right here is basically some, some really simple, just with a little bit of iron, some really simple automation that is going on. Um, now, we are using coal for power. This does use extra, like, coal if it's not actually being powered. So I recommend doing this, and you should be ready to go. Just like so. Perfect. So we actually need to start kind of rushing here and getting ourselves getting lava started. We need definitely lava. So that's going to be something that we're going to work towards. Uh, so I have my stone barrel. I'm also going to need a regular just with wood here, let me get it real quick. A crucible. We can make one of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Regular old fashioned crucible, looks like we need a slab. So we'll make the crucible. And this crucible is gonna be very helpful for us. Also, you can see here, we are missing the sieve. We're gonna need to make the sieve. That should take just a second here. Bam, we'll also make some sticks, because it's gonna require some sticks. And voila, we have a sieve. Now, I do want to make a heavy sieve. We're gonna need that as well. That's the main one we're probably gonna use. Let's go ahead and make that. Now we have both, <laughs> you can't beat that. And we do have some rewards. So this, we also need a string mesh, which we can go ahead and make that. That'll just get those rewards out of the way, and that will gain us some extra reward chances to uh, hopefully get something nice. You never know. You never know. Quest complete. Awesome. So we ended up getting this quest done. Claim the reward. This quest was done. Oh, we got three hoppers from that. That's not bad at all. Some more food. What do we get there? Oh, we got an Invar hammer. Boy, I wanted that one earlier. Then we also have the mystical agriculture here, the Inferium Essence. We also have that. Oh, we got an auto sifter. How nice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using the auto sifter, but it is definitely something that we have. So this has been going. This is doing a pretty good job. Um, as you can see, it's been pulverizing that. It's got a little bit of leftover here that it generates. Um, it should automatically pull that out. Um, and this should stop if this does generate too much of that. But anyways, here's our crucible. We actually need to get this to work. Um, not so much our sieve. I'm going to go ahead and place it down though. Especially the heavy, the heavy sieve can go down in the floor. Um, the regular sieve, I'm not worried about it. We're going to place it in our box here. All right, that one. Let's go ahead and get this started. Heavy sieve is going to require a little bit of dirt. Um, I want to go ahead and use dirt. Two blocks of it and kind of get that started. That should get us some seeds early for a farm, right? We got sugarcane seeds there, we got regular seed, we got a potato seed. Later on, we're gonna have to sieve a little bit more than that, and we should get more seeds, hopefully, as we go. 
All right, so this right here, we also need to take some saplings. I should have a few saplings, right? There we go. And if we place some saplings in here, it will over time turn into water. So that'll get us our first bucket of water. Um, we're gonna need two buckets of water. So I'm probably gonna do two of those crucibles. They're not too hard to make. There's another crucible. And uh, we should be able to still access. Nope, we can't. Oh, bummer. I was hoping we can access these chests from underneath there. But I guess not. It's no big deal. Okay, quick word of warning. Do not shift click coal into your furnace or shift click it into any extra utility machine because you will probably crash as I just experienced like three times now because I didn't learn my first time. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and j go even further. So our water is now done. We have both of them ready to go, which means we can now take some iron, which we should have plenty of at this point, and uh, go ahead and make ourselves a bucket. This bucket is going to be what we use to uh, make ourselves an infinite water source. Very, very simple. And I'm just gonna do it like so. Uh, you can do the three uh, route where you just do one source here and one source here and then leave the block there. But there's a good chance that you could accidentally um, pick up one of your sources and then, you know, you have to do this process over again. So now that we have that done, we have water. We can now take this and fill these back up with water and we can use them to generate clay. So let's take some sand. I've uh, crushed some sand up. I want to go ahead and compress this down into blocks of compressed sand. And then inside one of my containers here, I have a compressed stone hammer. And this is what you're going to want to use. The compressed stone hammer, hammer is, of course, just a bunch of stone hammers that we made earlier. Just all compressed. And this is what you're going to use. Bam, just like so, to get yourself some dust. Um, this dust you can then place in here, and that's going to give you clay. Look at that. You can't get any simpler than that. And this clay is what we're going to use to make some porcelain. So I'll show you that here in just a second. So nab our clay. There we go. Put it in here. You can turn it into clay. And we've killed some skeletons at this point. So what you want to do, bam, I'm going to grab some of this. I'm going to turn, what, seven of these into porcelain clay. And uh, this porcelain then can be molded and turned into unfired crucible. We throw that in there and that's going to fire it and that's going to give us our first crucible. Super cool. Now I do need a torch. Uh, I should have one laying around here somewhere or I could technically just place it right here. I think. Oh, uh, let's keep looking. I know I have a torch somewhere. If not, I'll just make one. All right, let's just make one. Well, I have, I have torches in my inventory. What am I talking about? All right, so that is done. Let's take our crucible out. Bam, we are ready to go. What I'm going to do is take this, break it, place a torch right down there, place the crucible on top. And now we're going to make our first source of lava. Now, all you need in here is four cobblestone, and that will produce one bucket of lava, but it'll produce it pretty slow. So you're going to have to keep that in mind that it is going to be a little bit slow to produce. What we're trying to get is a cobblestone. generator. This right here, this plain old cobblestone generator, it's going to require a bucket of water and a bucket of lava and glass with some cobblestone around. And that'll get us our first cobblestone generator. Of course, we're going to be able to upgrade it pretty quick, but that is one of the things we're going to need to do. Let's go ahead and claim our rewards. There we go. You know what? <laughs> Who cares? We just got a cobblestone generator as a reward. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. So we got a cobblestone generator as a reward. Well, that means that our cobblestone generator quest just got completed. We got another octatic capacitor. Let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. We have enough iron. We need this thing upgraded anyways. So let's go ahead and upgrade it with some iron. That's going to be perfect. Look at that nice looking cobblestone generator. So the cobblestone generator, this is going to generate some cobblestone, of course. Um, so what I want to make is let's pop in here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a drawer. It's going to look really good to have a drawer in here. So we'll take four of those and we'll turn some of these planks around and bam, place a chest in there. We get a basic drawer. Also, we unlock another quest and that's going to start putting cobblestone in there. Let's take a look at our quest here. 
We got another reward we can get here. Look at that. A perfect conversion kit. Bam, doesn't get any better than that. In our storage, we have a storage drawer. We got another reward. Oh, wow. An eight times upgrade. That's some good stuff there. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Conversion kit. We got another. We got four tanks. By the way, this is filled with lava. That's because somebody else is using the white channel. We'll, of course, have to change our channels later on if we want to. All right, so looks like everything's doing good here. Um, we're basically at the point of going through silver. I do need gold to be produced, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going first. Um, we can also fuel this, these machines with uh, wood if we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and fuel that. This can be fueled with wood, as you can see here. And that'll get that going. I'm actually going to swap that out so that way the gold can get started. We need gold before anything else. Even 10. There we go. Gold, do your thing. Put the silver in there for later. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, with that gold, I want to produce something. I want to get into quantum, quantum flux. Um, because we should be able, once we get this lava, once this thing is fully done, uh, we should be able to make ourselves a quantum entropy accelerator. This is going to require dark stone, but you're going to require some black dye, which means we're going to have to sieve a little bit more dirt. There's a little bit of steps involved, just a few steps involved. Um, one of those is, of course, taking some of this and breaking it down. We need to take it to gravel. And then from gravel, we can go and do this. I usually like to do this process. That'll give us 14 gravel. We'll process this again. And hit it with the hammer. That should get us dirt. Awesome. And we can compress that dirt. And that allows us to sieve some more. And hopefully get some more seeds, possibly uh, some grass seeds. If we can get some grass seeds, we should be good. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, how far are we getting? We get some grass seeds. Oh, we got some grass seeds. Awesome. Let's take one of those grass seeds. I'm going to place it right there. We're going to continue sieving. Got a little bit more to go. I need to kind of clear out some of the wood. See how we're doing on other other materials. There we go. And yeah, we just got a little bit of sieving to do. It's a big part of this uh, early game, but we skipped a lot of sieving. Like we didn't have to do tons of it for like materials and stuff. Like we don't have to do a bunch of gravel in here, um, which is another thing you can do. But right now, all, all I'm after is some plants some grass because I can I can actually use that grass to hopefully get some black dye and get us some early power. Power would be really nice. Now we could do squid bait. That is another thing that does exist is squid bait. Um but I'm not too concerned about that. There's that. Bam, more cobblestone. Um you just throw that in here. How far are we on that? Not not that far away. All right, so we end up getting pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, carrots. So we got pretty much all the base stuff, and we got two seeds there. Awesome. We're getting some grass growing. That's perfect. Um, I need that because now we can actually get some flowers. And what I'm hoping is to hopefully get lucky. We did get just two flowers there. I think we can actually pulverize this if we have enough material to cook this down at least. Um, we might need to make a survivalist generator for right now. Survivalist generator might provide us just a little bit more power long over the long term. Uh, let's see. That's just a furnace and iron. That should be too hard. A couple sticks, right? Furnace. Oh, we need redstone as well. So just a couple pieces of redstone. And voila, survival's generator. Place that on the front of that bad boy. Let's give it something to power it, like wood. Wood usually does the trick. That'll give it at least a little bit of power. 
It'll creep. But anyways, this will give us some dye. And that's what I want. I want some dye here. Um, what I'm hoping for is some more flowers and to potentially get lucky. There we go. All we need is just a couple. Because then we can actually do the Batania duplication thing. Where we can actually start duplicating dyes and thus make even more Batania stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and throw some of these seeds and stuff in here. Kind of get our inventory cleared out. For the most part. There we go. Alright, so, Batania. It has... Floral fertilizer and floral fertilizer is going to be very helpful for us as you can see we just need some bone meal And we make floral fertilizer just like that and look at that We got a couple flowers already, which is perfect And what I can do here is start to work on duplicating these place them down Do a couple of that. Let's make a shear Like so And that'll give me four which is now eight. It basically, it's more than duplicating. It's like quadrupling. Um, we'll do this some more. Shear them. Do it again. As you can see, we're just getting more and more dye. And that's going to be good because we're going to do something with it here in a minute. Let's get a little bit more bone mill. We should have plenty of bone mill. We have skeletons all over the place. Awesome. So that should be enough for right now. All right, let's make a mortar and pestle, which should be just a bowl. Make a little bit of wood. We'll make a bowl real quick. Stick and a piece of wood. That's a mortar and pestle. We'll take this. Combine it there, and now you can use this to make, uh, with your, without the bowl here, of course, make more floral fertilizer. There's some brown. We're looking for black dye, so we're going to continue to try until we get some black dye. Of course, we need to do this. We can turn all of these into petals. And we can continue to try with all of these. But there we go, that's 12. Oh, by the way, these need to be turned into dye. My bad. There's the dye. And 12 honestly should get us a black dye, hopefully. Yeah, right there. And guys, there's our black dye. <laughs> awesome. So we'll do the same process here with our black dye just for right now. Um, what we need to do is bone mill. Looks like we're going to have to get some more bone mill. And we'll grow those. Shear them. And that, for right now, it'll get us... We'll keep one, and we'll turn the rest into black dye. Perfect. Let's go ahead and throw all this into our flower pot. And we'll keep our black dye. Perfect. <laughs> Bam. Not too difficult there. Um, I mean, it just takes a little bit of, just a little bit of time and, and then you should be able to go on your way. All right, now that we have black dye, I still want to try that quantum. What is it called? Quantum entropy? I still want to try this. So dark stone. Remember that is cobblestone, right? Is that what that is? Cobblestone, yeah. It's just cobblestone surrounded by black dye. Look, there's 16 of those. Um, so let's just grab some cobblestone. Do that. Uh, is that not accepting it as black dye? Uh, it does. Oh, it needs stone. Stone on the top and bottom. So it needs regular stone. It's always confusing when you get it swapping like that. There we go, there's dark stone. Then we just need some gold, that's what we were working on. Look at that, plenty of gold. Also, we already need redstone. This is going to make gold casings. We need two of those, technically. 
And we need a furnace. A bucket of lava, which we're working on, and two iron. Awesome. So here's a bucket of lava. Technically, I need to make another cobblestone generator. Uh, I mean... I don't know. We well, I want to try and get some power going. We'll get that bucket of lava for another cobblestone generator here in a second. Let's go ahead and just make this machine. All right, so we just need more iron. We're good to go. We're ready to make this. Awesome. So this should generate some power for us. I want to see if this will actually swap and take the place of this machine. So if you put this here, you can see that it'll actually take items and it should convert it into power. How much power? I don't actually know. Is it enough? I mean, it does seem to be making a little bit of power, but it is still a little bit of power. You see one, zero, one, zero. Um, I don't know if the better the item, the more power it generates. I don't think so. I just think it's literally just the more items you give it, the more power it will generate. Yeah. That's what it seems like to me. So if you give it cobblestone, it's just going to generate trickle power over time. Just a little bit. Huh. And it may go good with this generator with it. So them together. Yeah. Seems to be doing pretty good. So yeah, that's what we're going to use for right now. That was just something I wanted to try this. These You can make a bunch of these and just feed it all cobblestone. And I mean, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, you also have this one, the zero point extractor, which actually generates RF, um, the lower it is in the world. So if it's down near bedrock, it'll generate the most power. I think it's close to 250 RF, um, a tick or 256 RF of tick. So just keep that in mind. This thing can actually generate a pretty good amount of power and you can have multiples of them. So it's kind of like a solar panel, except for the closer to bedrock it is, the you know the better power gen it creates. So for quickly generating some coal and stuff, I went ahead and got the flint stiffened mesh. We should be able to upgrade this all the way to max tier since we went and literally got diamonds. Like that wasn't too difficult at all. Um, and we can probably find some more diamonds in the mine dimension since I found them just like right off the bat. So what we can go ahead and do is get this thing upgraded. Let's go ahead and get our iron mesh. And we'll turn that into, or, or not iron mesh. We I went ahead and upgraded this to flint mesh. It's pretty simple to make. Upgrade this to iron. Bam. And then upgrade this to diamond. And let me look how fast that is. Just make sure we, I don't know if there's actually rewards for this tiered. No, I don't think so. So there we go. Diamond stiff and mesh. We can toss that bad boy there. And then sieving compressed gravel is pretty crazy whenever you get to that point. So I'm going to throw all of this in here. Let me just get some of this junk out of my inventory. There we go. A couple blocks, some iron. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I can just kind of throw this in here. Or you can press K or shift K on your keyboard. And it'll kind of compress all of them, but it still leaves you sometimes with a little bit of gravel left over. But still, you can hit, you know, K a couple of times in there and compress it for you if you don't want to go through that whole system. So you can see we got 50-something gravel. If you throw it in here, you are going to get a little bit of efficiency loss. This isn't exactly as efficient as it is to do this um, with, like, 5x5 five five sieves with all diamond. But, of course, that's going to take a lot more diamond. And it's also going to be a little bit slower getting your materials. But as you can see, we've already gotten lapis. We've already gotten all these air crystals and things like that. We've even got the Wub Gym from Tiny Progressions. I have no idea what this is. This gives you Wub Juice. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. We get Wub Juice. But yes, you have a chance of getting more diamond back this way. I mean, you should. You should definitely get some iron. Or, or some diamond. But as you can see, we're also getting iron ore. Just like that. That's iron ore, technically. This is lead ore, this is copper ore. Um, and you can throw this in here, the same as everything else. This is all considered ore, so it can be doubled in the exact same process that you see here. So yeah, I do want to also get, let's put some co more cobblestone in here. That's why I said I want to get a cobblestone generator. I just threw that in there by accident. 
Yeah, I do want to get a cobblestone generator on that bad boy. Well, guys, we got a lot done this episode, so I hope to get things going a little bit faster in the next few episodes. So I hope you guys stick around. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And like I said, I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching.